like you rightly said, the dependents, those who are looking up to you, the month is coming to an end and you think of the external bills coming. You just check your budget and then the expenses going out of your immediate family is, is more than what you are using on yourself. And that alone gives a cause for anxiety and worry. And most people are Welcome, guys, to your favorite podcast, FNF Catch Dialogues. On today's episode, we are discussing mental health and stresses, the causes, and how to deal with it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, if this is the first time you're watching us, please do well to subscribe. And you're welcome to our podcast. And to our returning subscribers, we are super grateful for the support. We appreciate you for time and time again coming to watch us. We are so much grateful. Let's get right into it, bro. So in the previous episode, yes, we spoke about some emotional issues that men deal with and the fact that they need to be supported and they should be encouraged to open up. Yes. And it's only fitting that we talk about some of these stresses and yeah. you know how to deal with it. And I, I think in this video we are not limiting it to men only. Yeah, Just absolutely. General for both men and women. I think Everybody's battling with one issue in one way or the other. And mm. stress, I think, is something that it could be physical, but then in the end, whatever the cause of the stress is, it, yeah. the end result is on your mind. Mm. And the mind or the brain controls every activity in the body. So mm-hmm. once the mind is broken down, every, every other, other thing, every other thing stops working. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Guy, um, Guy. what do you think? Um, are some of the things that might cause stress or what has been your personal experience if you've ever had a, a, a point in your life where you had a mental breakdown or something of the sort? Um, to be fair, it can be a lot, but yeah. uh, I'll, one example I'll start with will be financial stress. Financial. Like, I mean, oh, financial yeah. Problems. In this in this time, yeah, Bro, most people have financial stress to be their major problems yeah if if you don't if you don't have money like you see there there is an age limit where you get to Mm -hmm. and if you don't have money Mm -hmm. you you're seen as a failure no i'm I'm telling you i think you feel like a failure sometimes not what people see alone but you feel you feel like a failure yeah you see sometimes i'm 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 forced to be biased when I'm discussing the issues. Mm-hmm. This issue of money. Yeah. Especially for a man. Mm-hmm. Bro, see, if you don't have if if you don't have something in your pocket. Yeah. If your pocket is inflamed, yeah. Bro, <laughs> if, <laughs> if your pocket is flat, yeah. You feel useless. If if I'm not being too harsh. Do you know I watched a movie and the main actor said if you're a man and you don't have money, you are like a dead person walking. You have no life. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the thing is there, uh, the thing is there, yeah, the money, or if you don't have money, it doesn't just affect you. Mm. The people depending on you, you've yeah. got family, especially yeah. if you're a married man. Yeah. You've got a wife, you've got kids, you've got extended families, people who are attached to you when it comes to, you know, their maintenance money and you know stuff like that so that thing alone it's it's a whole level of stress on its own yeah and i i think um for most people with in terms of finances left i was telling my wife the other time that left to us alone if it it was about what we will eat alone Mm -hmm. would have been comfortable yeah there wouldn't be a need to worry so much but like you rightly said the dependents those who are looking up to you the month is coming to an end and you think of the external bills coming. You just check your budget and then the expenses going out of your immediate family is, is more than what you are using on yourself. And that alone gives a cause for anxiety and worry. And most people are in that they get to that point of mental breakdown because they think that they are not being responsible enough, not to yeah. themselves, not to maybe their wife and their kids. But to those people who are looking up to them outside their immediate family, and 
I think um, it's it's worrying. Yeah, it is. Imagine it's, your mom calling you that. Oh, Fifi, I need this amount of money, X amount of money, mm-hmm. or Y amount of money, and you, you don't you, don't have bro. when you you think <laughs> that at that point and savings now and it's very difficult it's difficult to save now bro so there's no rescue pack for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's th- nah this conversation is for another yes thing. let's talk about the, the the next cause of stress so what i do you i think, I think uh, just in relation to this uh yeah. f- financial stress we'll talk of about stress caused by family Ooh. sometimes <laughs> there are times when i'm here very far from my mom my siblings i've got my wife here so that's my immediate family right but you receive a call from home with things happening at home where you think that that shouldn't be your worry now but once that news is delivered to you then it it throws it throws your brain and the cells in your body in a new environment and you are so worried you you can't concentrate on your your normal activities you've got someone problem with your mom your siblings are dealing with this and you you tend to, especially if you are the elder you're they are you're the eldest right everybody comes to report so this one has done this this one you have to resolve issues very far away from home things that shouldn't bother you immediately you add it to the pressure within your immediate environment and you sort of can't concentrate you can't even eat because of things that are not bothering yourself but other members of the family yeah, absolutely. Because sometimes um, stress from family is not even... Sometimes it's not just about the money. Like I mentioned in the previous video, using my, my dad's demise as an example. Since that moment that <clears throat> I got the call that my dad has passed, from that point for like months, every single time I saw a call coming mm-hmm. from Ghana, I just I just get this anxiety. That just there's kind something of fear, happening. Like, what could be wrong? Yeah. If my kid starts calling me, could it, could it? Yeah. Do you, do you get yeah, it? Yeah. So I was at work and sometimes that thought would come or I'd see a message from my kids and I'd be like, what could be going on? Yeah. And psychologically, yeah. It, it, it drained me. It yeah. zeroed me. Yeah. And that is how much family can, can, can impact your, your, your stress levels your and all that. activities. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think one more thing I'd like to mention is, work work stress See, that, that is another level guy that is another level it could supersede <laughs> family and financial stress i'm telling you especially when you've got these one lady described as colleagues sent from hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think in my my line of career throughout i've changed various jobs right yeah but i've not met those in quotes evil <laughs> characterized form of colleagues but when <laughs> you are listening to the stories of other people it's it's mad if it's not from colleagues it could be managers oh i was about saying that like super crazy having a difficult like boss witches bro i i i think it's one of the most traumatizing things anyone can go through and sometimes it's not about the colleagues your colleagues are great your managers are great but you are in that work that or that career or job you are not happy with it there are people in jobs very high paying jobs but they are not happy there's no satisfaction and without job satisfaction if you are not happy with what you are doing you can pay billions but going to waking up in the morning and thinking about going to that work environment gives brings you anxiety yeah you can go there and you underperform people leave work and come home and they are not able to even have nice time with their families. You you lose that appetite for enjoyment at home. So it's it's not always in relation to your colleagues or your managers. It could be how happy you are doing that that work. Yeah. So I always advise growing up, you shouldn't always be motivated by money alone. You should think about what brings you satisfaction. And I advise that sometimes you have to think of if this job that i'm going to do for the rest of my life assuming that i'm not being paid would i be happy to continue doing it and once that box is ticked the money becomes a bonus yeah yeah and once you're happy with something continuously 
you become better at it and that brings the money yeah i i i am no to be fair i think you've you've said it all from dealing with difficult colleagues to bosses because boy if 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 your boss doesn't like you or if that environment you're in you are not thriving as you should it is not a very good experience no. so let i think a best example would be taking us as immigrants for example yeah. you've come from overseas from mm-hmm. another country on a visa so quote unquote you are tied to your employer yeah. until you get another employer mm-hmm. and you are in a work environment where you are not happy no bro yeah. if you decide to terminate you're going back home you're going back home I'm- so until <laughs> you find another job another employer you have to deal with it yeah. and it can be difficult yeah yeah, I haven't experienced that, but I've got friends who are, oh, who are going uh, through yeah. stuff like that. Do you know? Do you know? My last two jobs before yeah. my my current posts, we are all in the same environment. I didn't have a cause to complain, though. Not everything was right. Like there were things that weren't too great, but it was it was still good. It was manageable. <laughs> but there was another lady who found it so difficult, found the environment toxic. So it's relative. Something that, or a place where someone will feel comfortable, another person won't feel comfortable. And I think that people shouldn't be blamed if they are not enjoying their workspace. They should be rather supported, right, to be able to make that adjustment. I think for some people, it's starting that new job, they don't get the right orientation. They mm. don't get the induction into the job to know yep. the do's and the don'ts. And you end up making a first mistake. Once people start complaining, it continues. And then y- you are just always watching your back. Yeah. Am I going to do the wrong thing? And you end up making more mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because you, you feel... confidence just ends in great. the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now talking of i think in our conversation we've already yeah. mentioned ways so, of dealing well, with yeah so what are some other tips you can give to people watching us um, i think we, we've already spoken about the first one I, I would say the first step is to identify the source of whatever the stress, stress yeah. that's going to and we've already listed talk about work finances and all that and i think the next we forgot one thing yeah relationship stress <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's, why it's, would you bring do you, do you know do you know uh, it's it's <laughs> you're laughing but it's it's serious there are so many people in psychiatric hospitals and in prisons because of relationship stress not men alone ladies Even also women go through. Yeah, people commit suicide yeah. because of relationship toxic relationships yeah. and whatnot S- some people break down they are mds and multi-million dollar companies and yeah. they they go down the drain just because of relationship um so we'll, we'll quickly just run through the bits that yeah. people need to you know practice to get out of such a situation i think we've already talked about the source i think another thing is to accept that it is a process i mean it's a process for you to get out of you it's not an instantaneous no. thing. it will take time yeah and also you need to have a very good support system yeah friends family professional help if needed because these are people who would be able to relate sometimes better with you yeah. there are things that you can't share with everyone no you probably have to share with someone outside your circle yeah. because of fear of being judged or whatnot yeah. but i think friends families church leaders all of these yeah people will be able to because yeah. my worries uh people that are introverts yeah that there are people that have not got any friends apart from their dogs and yeah. for those people it's a challenge speaking to someone mm-hmm. but i think that um one thing that will help irrespective of whether you are an introvert or extrovert is leaving that environment that makes you anxious or g- makes you depressed yeah go to a new environment if you can take a by force vacation go somewhere go and visit a family member you don't need to even share the problem. Go there, engage in something that will sort of serve as a diversional therapy. Yeah. And I think that helps as well. Yeah. And yeah. most importantly, it's about putting yourself first. Yes. Like, like you always preach. Yeah. 
make sure you love yourself first yeah if it's about family responsibilities as soon as you receive your salary buy something for yourself Self. just make sure you've taken care of you yeah before you take care of others exactly. and and that would be very helpful you should look at you know living a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. getting in you know some groups that share similar interests with you yeah. i think all of these things are good yeah. ways of you know yeah. diverting your attention and from i i think if it's work related you've got colleagues or managers for some people they are very shy of approaching issues the things that cause them stress go to that person tell them i'm not happy with what you're doing mm -hmm. if it's a disciplinary committee if it's a leader someone ahead of the person that is um creating that problem for you go to that person speak to him or her this is what this, this colleague is doing that i'm not happy with and i think they can help because when you don't address them let them know they are they are being stupid in in, in quotes yeah. and they are making you feel unsafe they will continue doing that thing and until you leave that job environment probably that will be your dream career you can't stop that job because of one naughty colleague yeah approach that person tell the person that you're not happy if the person doesn't budge go to the, someone higher than him or her and then they could talk some sense into their heads yeah absolutely yeah. face your fears and if you can't face it alone you should ask for support like yeah. you really mentioned to yeah. be able to so guys do well to leave your thoughts on what we've discussed today in the comment section yeah. and make make yourself a priority yeah At yourself first day. i'll always say exactly because so, like like we mentioned in our previous video if you die today life is going on life is going on and until we meet again peace, peace. out